you doing, man? Fine. How are you, my brother? We're going to go ahead and get started. Folks, we're joined by Lisa. I can hardly hear you, Mark. Can you? Okay, let me try to bring it up a little bit. Is this, is, is that any better? Can you hear me better now? Yeah, that's a little better. Okay, yeah. wonderful. Folks, um, in light of this breaking news, we just wanted to jump right in and have a conversation with our brother Lee Saunders, president of the American Federation of State Government and Municipal Employees. Lee, um, first of all, this is um, a pretty significant blow today, isn't it? Well, it's, uh, it is a blow, but uh, we have actually been planning for this, uh, our union and uh, our partner unions, for the past three years because we see what's going on in this country. And today the Supreme Court just showed that they're a part of the rigged system uh, that benefits uh, the wealthiest of Americans and leaves those who are playing by the rules every single day without a seat at the table. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we are going away, though, man. We're going to fight back, and we're going to make our voices heard, and we're going to continue to grow our union. So now, specifically, what this does is we require individuals to be a full member of the union in, in order for the union to really sustain itself and collect any type of, of, of fees for the work the union does, right? Right. It, what it does is you have to be a member before it was an agency fee. Where you, it's, it's, you, you can choose not to be a member of the union, but you still receive the same level of benefits, contract, negotiations, representation if you have grievances, um, you know, all the kinds of things that unions provide. Even if you're a non-member, you still receive that. Under law, we're obligated uh, to represent non-members. What this essentially does is make uh, every state in this country right to work in the public sector, meaning that folks uh, don't have to pay any kind of fee, yet they can still enjoy all of the privileges of union membership. Uh, and, uh, you know, I mean, it's a, it's a plan by the very conservative folks in this country not to uh, it's, this is not nothing about the First Amendment rights, which they claim. They are quoted in saying that they want to defund and defang public sector unions because they don't want working families to have a seat at the table, and they don't want us to have the kind of power to block the kinds of things that they want to impose upon the will of most people. And uh, it's a power play, pure and sim- simple, and we've just got to fight back like never before. So, so what you have essentially, Lee, is this, is this Janus character he brings this, um, but but now is this really an an overwhelming sentiment amongst average workers? Was there any kind of clamor for this type of measure? Of course not. I mean, as a matter of fact, uh, we have had over nine hundred thousand individual conversations with members and non-members alike within our union, asking them to be uh, active with their union, uh, seeking advice. Uh, from them as far as what they want to see out of their union. If you look at uh, uh, the most recent Gallup poll, it shows that Americans believe that unions are necessary. They are a counterbalance uh, in our society. More people are starting to join unions. Uh, unions are organizing like never before externally. Uh, AFSCME actually grew uh, a couple of years ago. I mean, we took some hits last year simply because of the rollback in collective bargaining rights. But we're doing everything that we can to uh, mobilize and organize and educate our members and our allies and our partners, our coalition partners, and our communities across the country. I mean, we were there and I was there with you over the past weekend yeah, uh, participating yeah. in a Poor People's March. We're still going to make our voices heard. Nobody can take that away from us, and we're still going to be a force that, uh, that we'll be reckoned with. So I, I guess this is also the culmination of really an, an ongoing assault on unions going back to the Reagan administration, isn't it? Well, it, it, uh, uh, it's a continuing effort, to be quite honest with you. I mean, uh, they don't stop, they don't quit, because they want more power and wealth at the expense of working families. So we're going to face more challenges. They're going to try to uh, eliminate more rights. They're going to try to get rid of collective bargaining yeah. uh, for workers. I mean, we've got to be prepared for this. I mean... This is the, the mindset of the folks that have a lot of power and wealth, and they want more, and they don't want us to have a seat at the table. And that's why it's so important, Mark, and you get this. It's so important that our unions continue to stand up, our communities continue to stand up. I honestly believe that we're in the middle of a movement moment right now. If you look at what's happening across the country uh, with uh, uh, immigration, rights under attack, and people are standing up and saying, this is unacceptable. 
if you look at the teachers in some of the reddest states across the country going out on strike, not only for better wages and benefits, to improve, but to improve the public education system for their students, that they have the responsibility to teach. If you look at communities of color raising their voices and saying enough is enough, I mean, all of these kinds of things. If you look at the, the women's movement, uh, where uh, people are saying we're frustrated, we're angry, but that we've got to do something about it. I think that all, this, all of these movements are going to come together, and people uh, are going to come together and say enough is enough, and we will not let you take this country backwards without a fight, and it will be a huge fight, and it's maybe it's something that you should have asked for. So just at least Saunders with his folks president have asked me. So so just like um, um, the ballot box, you know, we've got to mobilize people to be registered uh, to vote, um, uh, you know, uh, over and above what what we think they're going to tamper with or bother um, to compensate for that which is suppressed or hacked. I guess in this case, we've got to do everything we can to encourage and increase union membership because now people will have to be full members in order to support the union there's, there's um we need support and we need help from our partners across the country and make no mistake about it unions have been beneficial not only for the members that we represent better wages and benefits working conditions <clears throat> but we have stood for issues of impact on our communities whether individuals belong in unions or don't belong in unions and that's why they're trying to silence our voice because we have the ability to bring people together. Yeah. And we're going to continue to do that. They cannot take that away from us. They can try, but they cannot take it away from us. And we need our partners to stand up and say that unions are necessary in this country, especially in the African-American community. That has been the way for African-American families and uh, families of color to move up that economic ladder to become a part of the middle mm-hmm. class. Mm-hmm. And that that whole thing is under attack now, and uh, we just can't go silently or bury our heads in the sand. We've got to continue to do what we did last Saturday, what we did in Memphis the beginning of April, bringing right. our communities together, That's right. commemorating the, uh, the 1,300 set, uh, sanitation workers who went on strike and who Dr. King gave his life for that strike. We've got to come together like never before because these folks are serious, man, and they are spending a lot of money. And they have a plan that they are sticking with, and we've got to be smart about it. We've got to have our own strategy and plan. But this is no, this is not rocket science. Yeah, yeah. this is about basic one hundred and one organizing, grassroots organizing, organizing block to block, school district to school district, right. city to city, and state to state. Of course, uh, AFSCME is the name party in the case, folks. Lastly, I'm looking at uh, uh, the website uh, right now. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, Lee, and you all are asking people to stand with working people. Uh, today, you can show that working people refuse to be divided. Post a photo of yourself to social media holding a handmade sign that says union. All right. Use the hashtag union on uh, uh, social media. I mean, th- that's something we can do right away. Right, Lee? We would ask all of our uh, supporters. We would ask our partners to do just that and make a statement. Not just a statement for today, but continuing to make that statement today, tomorrow, and in the future. Understanding that our communities are under attack and we've got to band together uh, to make things happen in a positive way. Uh, you said it's a movement moment, Lee. It, it, worst case scenario, that's exactly what it is. And it ought to motivate more of us to appreciate the value of unions, not taking for granted those of us who are members. Maybe work a little bit harder to encourage those um, who maybe have been having the, the fees uh, uh, paid but not been members, say, listen, you need to come on and join now. We need to take this seriously. That's exactly right, man. We look forward to, to working yeah. with you and our partners all across the country. We can get this done, Yeah, uh, and we will get it done. Um, Lee, I'm at your service, man, okay? You know Appreciate that. it, Mark. All right, my friend. Thank you so much, folks. Lee Saunders, our very special guest, guest special edition of uh, Make It Plain as we talk about the Janus decision. Thank you, Lee. Thank you, Mark. All right, take care now.